good updates. And, uh, and I think the most attractive for me is the, uh, in the geometry node here. And uh, when we go to geometry node, and uh, we will find this new node for each element. And this is very uh, similar to nodes that I, uh, like we used in Houdini. And let's check here in Houdini. We have one for each here. There are three nodes, and uh, Blender has two nodes, and this is uh, it's different, but the principle is the same. And if we check for each here, we can find that for each number, points, primitive, connected pieces, and the name the primitive uh, a lot. And uh, if we check the number here, we can we only check this node. We can check it has iteration. Is it familiar? Yes. And then if we go to uh, and here, we can find that uh, repeat. Yes, repeat zoom is uh, almost the same as this, but uh, of course, Houdini is much more powerful because it has more function and I think much more complicated. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, we can, we can, maybe we can check other for each like primitive. Yes. Yeah. You can you can check here. It turned to primitive. There are two modes because in Houdini, edge faces are all primitives, and they can merge or feedback each iteration like by pieces and points. There are many income uh, input and uh, check here. Uh, check here. Yeah, many modes. You, you can like and the creative input. Yes, you can create a new input nodes, and uh, you can. Let me see. Let me check. Yeah, fetch. Uh, Metagat, yes. Metagat is the, I think it's the iteration. So many functions, uh, including uh, for you to explore. Uh, but uh, we, let's go to Blender 4.3. And uh, here, uh, it's similar, but it's much more simple. I think it's uh, uh, in the primary stage of developing, I think. Yeah, it has a point at the face, this corner. This corner, I think, is the vertex. Spline instance layer. I don't know what the layer is. And uh, uh, let's check here geometry. Yeah, this is for the input of the geometry, like like a box. Oh no, here it's in the cube. I think yes, cube. We can just use it for demonstration. And uh, if we connect it here, you can see the geometry. And if we check this. Uh, uh, this, yeah, what are they to say? Yes, it's uh, like uh, what you input and the output. Uh, yeah, but uh, why it changed the size? I, I don't know. I don't know why it changed the size. Oh, it didn't change, yes. It's this, uh, this cube. Sorry. And uh, if we connect here, nothing. Uh, because, uh, uh, because we can check. Here, it says this is the uh, like uh, the geometry for each iteration, and this is the geometry, the, uh, the stacked geometry for each iteration is joined together. And here, element, it says it's the single element uh, for each iteration. So if we connect each, this to here, you can see there are points here. This is a point mode. And when we turn to edge, we have edge face. And this corner, we no, this corner, no, spline, no, no, no. So, this is uh, the very simple function. And uh, let's uh, delete repeat. And uh, here, selection is very simple. Index, index is, is like uh, it outputs the uh, index of each element. And like if we, are, uh, if we want to modify every element, and uh, the first element. Uh, like the first point, it will output the index of it, like a, like a one or two or three. And uh, here we we can see that there is an empty socket here. Yeah, if we come to here, it's similar. Uh, it's similar in repeat zone. Yeah, we delete that. Yeah, it's similar, very similar. So you can you can check the check them by yourself. And uh, there is a difference that if you put an attribute here, like uh, maybe position, 
position is the most common Ashimojara we use. We connect here, and if I output a position, or remember this is the position for the whole cube. Like it has, check the spreadsheet, it has these values. Yeah, it has the, these eight values, yes. Uh, but this output is only for element. And uh, let's check if we can see that. Yeah, you can see the viewer here. Viewer 1, because of the index is 1. Uh, we can't uh, check. We, uh, this is uh, a small problem that I find in Voyaging because it can only uh, check the 0 index. If you want to check 1 or 2 or 3 and output, then no, you can't. And you can see here, output here. And uh, let's check where is the point. No point, nothing. You can, you can, I think, uh, turn to face. No, nothing, nothing yet. So it's disappointing. Uh, sometimes I want to check, to check, check, the, check the each element, so it can't. So connect here. Return to point. And this, uh, let's uh, have a viewer here. And uh, disconnect this, connect this, and connect this to value. And uh, it's for point. Let's check. Check if we have something. No, we, we don't have something here. And I think, of course, there is something wrong. Yes, if we do it like this, let's check point. Yes, we have the viewer here. We have the position, only one position for the element. So this is the difference, very different. The input, input uh, all of them, and you have one for spe especially for this element. So we delete this. And we will uh, do a small project that uh, help you to understand this. Uh, and uh, this project is from, I don't know, uh, from a very famous YouTuber. And I like his video, and uh, I just uh, I just don't remember the name. So when I do that, you will remember. So let's check. So we need some points. Uh, like I just uh, demonstrated in the beginning. Yeah, that's video. Yeah, we need some. Um, 100 or 500, 500 points here. Connect it to geometry and position I use random first. Change from negative 1 to 1. We have these points. And uh, you can see, element to this geometry, we have these points. If, we, if I disconnect them, it's like this. If I connect them here, you will have them here. But the difference is that you can check the points. So many points. If I connect here, it's 500 hundred points. Here, uh, 500 points because it only outputs the or original point, original geometry. If we connect it here, it's a 500 multiply 500. So we have so many points. So that's the difference. So then we will need to um, like uh, input the position here. And uh, we don't want so many points for each iteration. I only want to uh, have some points that are restricted in uh, in an area. So we use this uh, position, and it outputs the position for this element. Remember, this is very important. And then we will use the mass node. Connect this to this. Then you will have the uh, like a vector from a single element to every other element. So we change it to subtract, and we have the vector, and uh, then we change it to dance. We will have the dance element, and uh, then we will use compare. Yeah, greater than if, if I think if it's greater than like uh, zero point one, uh, we will delete that. Like like it's kind of restricted to the. Uh, where the pen restricted then into like this small position, small area. Uh, so 
you can see it here, but you can see here in spreadsheet point. You can see point six hundred. So it has uh, it it has in effect in effect. And uh, next step we need to extrude. Yes, there are the error here because extrude. We want to extrude the vertex, but here it points, so we need to change the point to vertex. Then we will have this uh, because we didn't define the offset. Offset, uh, offset defines the direction and the, the length. So here we have the length and the direction. Here, subtract. Connect it here. So we will have then, yeah, kind of succeed, right? So if we change the, this value, Whoa, it has uh, some kind of shape that, uh, that is uh, similar to packages uh, or something else that is, uh, this shape is very familiar if we do after effects. And then uh, we will need to make animation here rather than if we do it here. For animation that uh, can generate it by scene time, if we put it here, put scene time here. We are here. See, it will change uh, every second if we put it free here. It will change like this. It's not smooth. Uh, because the render is not smooth, it's random. So, if I will want to make it smooth, we need to have a noise here. And the noise is always from, uh, always is above zero, the value of the noise. So, we want to change that to uh, here. Yeah. Change it to vector and then change it to uh, negative one to one, like this. It's a lot, yes. So we need to change the delete geometry, the value to zero point one again, it works like this. So to make it move and smooth, we need to change it 4D. Also, we want to uh, the noise uh, like uh, move by itself. So this is the best way to use the iteration. So we can run into iteration, so it will be like this. Uh, and now I think if, if, yeah, you can do it like a, this. You can change the float like this. Do it like this. Yeah, you can do it like this. And do one to one. Depends on you. But I think this is uh, not very smooth. Well, let's try this one. No, not smooth. And I think uh, this this method is smooth. This method is, is kind of smooth. And uh, let's try it here. Connect here, and uh, we not connect the frame, we connect the time. It will be like this. Uh, it's a smooth too, so you can try to connect them. Uh, just try. Just to be creative. And we get the result like this. Uh, and uh, this is not the final work, because uh, because uh, we can't render the only mesh lines. So we need to turn the mesh line to curve. Uh, uh, there, is, there is something we need to remember that here we have many many splines and points, so we need to uh, like also we're merge, merge by distance here. Uh, we need to have less of that because it, it's sometimes very heavy, so we merge them. And then change it to curve, and then curve to mesh. And then we need uh, maybe, maybe a circle. Change it to 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.002. Yeah, then it, and yeah, then we have this. Yeah, then let's change the line. It's, it's slow, a little bit. Yeah, so let's change that. Okay, I know I think this uh, may be great. And uh, turn the resolution to maybe 3, because it's very small. You, can, you can't see that uh, details. So it doesn't matter if it's high resolution or low resolution, but the low resolution can save the 
uh, can see the power of the computer. It gives it material and then we bake. And then you can render them. Return to uh, render and uh, oh, I think my computer stuck. Yeah, and then you can help them. If we turn to cycle, think you and we can help them. Yeah, you see, see that? And it's changing. So I hope I explained the point well. I hope you have learned something from it. It's a very small, simple project. And this is today's tutorial, and thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.